Hi, my name is Tony Tamby. I'm an actor and filmmaker based in LA, and this is my FCE profile. You know, for me, it was a gradual process. Um, the, the, the thing that led to me coming here exactly was, um, I remember working in accounting and telling myself, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. Because I told myself, I'm in the US, you're in America. America is the one place where you get to do what you want to do. And if you, if, you're, if you work hard and have some talent and some luck, you could actually make something of yourself. So I think it was just working in accounting and sitting and saying, you know what, I can't do this. Um, but before there was so many little, uh, so many little things that kept pushing me towards uh, pursuing acting. As a kid, I remember watching um, a play, "The Gods Are Not to Blame" by Ola Rutimi, and it was just a remarkable experience. The, the the play was over, and I just sat there, and I got transported somewhere else. And I told myself, "Wow, wouldn't that be great to be able to give that feeling to someone else?" Um, but I never really thought about pursuing it professionally until I came to the U.S and uh, completed my accounting degree and worked in accounting for six months and I just told myself one day, I'm like, you know, I can't, I can't do this. I really have to, um, I have to go where my heart is taking me to. So I'll say something that really affected me was, uh, Coming to LA from Minnesota, I uh, decided to make it a road trip and uh, a friend of mine, my roommate at the time, we, we got into an accident around uh, in a small town called Sydney, Nebraska. My car was totaled, we went to the ER and like I remember looking in the mirror in the ER and I was crying, telling myself like what am I doing, why am I coming to, why am I going to LA, why am I leaving an accounting degree behind to come do this. And as I was crying, I thought to myself, I'm like, wow, this could be a really cool movie. <laughs> and that's when I knew, you know, that something like that couldn't stop me from doing what I wanted to do. That's when I was sure that this is exactly what I wanted to do. You know, that was a make or break me moment. I should have said, you know what, let this go. Go play it safe, you know, go do your nine to five as an accountant. But I'm like, no, that's not me. I'm going to go. The other one, I'm going to keep on going and follow my passion. Yes, yeah, so I've done a lot of, uh, a lot of short films. Um, I've done a couple of features. I haven't done a huge studio feature, but I've done some really good projects. I just recently completed a movie called Acceleration. Uh, really cool. Uh, but the big thing I've been working on recently is my web series is called Consequences. And it's about reformed internet scammers who uh, get a team together to reinvent their whole business this time, only targeting bad people. So uh, what it does is it combines internet scamming, which unfortunately that's something Africans are known for, with the con genre, which is a very interesting genre that has been explored in Hollywood so many times. It puts those two together to just create um, a different perspective of what you know is your typical African experience here in, in, the, in the US. So what we're doing with that is we're just giving those emails you get from the Nigerian prince, we're giving those emails a face and a voice, but we try to make it very clear that the characters in this have given up the life of scamming people. Like they, they saw the error of their ways and everything they do now is for a good cause. So again, they are reformed. Yes, there were scammers, but they realized they shouldn't do stuff like that. And now they every time they scam people is for a good reason. Ah, the current struggle of filmmaking in Africa. I mean, what, what, what I think we need to do better, because I think in Africa we have amazing stories, we have amazing directors and amazing locations. Uh, what we're missing is really production value. 
and just getting a crew together that really has the technical know-how and the equipment to get it done the right way. And just not money. We don't have enough money in it. And it's great to see that with a movie like Black Panther, where you're telling an African story, because it is an African story. I am from Wakanda. Um, we're all from Wakanda, you know. <laughs> yes, forever. We'll always be from Wakanda. Um, um, it's, it's cool to see that once you back an African story with a great and amazing director like Ryan Coogler and the amazing cast was able to assemble, um, it could lead to the numbers that it's led to, that you could produce something with such an amazing um, amazing quality and that's resonating with so many people, not just here, but back home as well too. So um, we're excited about the Oscars. I'm rooting for Black Panther to, to win the best picture. Again, not because I'm from Wakanda, but because I think it's an amazing movie. I think so. I think so. Um, I'm happy you mentioned the writing. For me, part of the journey here has, has been about looking for ways to get better, getting better as an actor, um, getting better as a filmmaker. So the more I acted, the more I realized there were certain roles which I didn't get to play. And I realized that nobody writes those roles for us, so we have to write those roles for ourselves. So that's what made me start writing. And I think you know, my relevance in the writing I do comes from the fact that I'm trying to show a different perspective of the African immigrant experience. Every time people talk, talk about Africa, you think um, Ebola, famine, um, AIDS, poverty, um, malnutrition, feed a kid for 10 cents a day or any of those, uh, any of those silly, silly commercials we see. And yes, poverty and famine does exist. It does. I mean, it exists everywhere in the world. What just happens is people keep neglecting to show the other, the other side of the African story back home and also here. Um, here on TV, when you see an African, where typically a one-sided, one, one, um, one-dimensional, simple-minded individual, while in reality the Africans I know, me, you, so many people we see around are doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, um, practically in every field you can imagine. Every possible field in the U.S. that you can imagine, you will find an African there, but we don't get represented at all. And to me, um, when I write, I try to correct that inequality. I try to show a different side of, of, of what we know. Um, I try to just let people see that there's more to us than what your typical Hollywood and uh, TV productions will show you. Yeah, I mean, to me, um, there's three things. Um, I'll say co uh, courage, honesty, and awareness. So for me, the first thing is courage. Have the courage to just decide that this is what you want to do. Don't um, don't put one foot in, one foot out. Two foot in, jump in. Decide that that's what you want to do. I mean, have a survival job where you can make money and pay your bills, and you don't have to depend on anybody. But you have to really decide that this is what you want to do. It's not just about I was in this movie and there's a red carpet event. No, that's not what this is about. This is about telling stories and creating meaningful work and making this a career. So have the courage to get in and do it right away. That's for me, my biggest regret is coming to the US and spending four years getting an accounting degree. When I should have maybe been getting a, an acting degree or just come right in and started doing this. And then honesty. Honesty in terms of the fact that you have to be honest with yourself. Do I have the talent for this? Um, do I have the, 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 the strength to, to get rejected a bunch of times? Um, am I willing to put in the extra work? Am I willing to go to a job nine to five and then at night go for auditions, go to an acting class, um, or just, just, just do the work that's needed? You know, you have to be honest with yourself. And then awareness in terms of once you get in there, you have to be aware of what's going on around you. If the industry is looking for A, B, but your BC, yeah, give them BC, but look for a way in which you can give them AB as well. You have to look for ways to, to, to fit in what's going on. You have to be aware of the industry, what they're looking for, what's going on, what you need to have, what's important, all those things. An awareness of like, am I getting better each year? Uh, I went to this acting class. Has it helped me improve as an actor? Has it helped me improve as a director, as a writer, as a producer? You know, you have to be aware of all those things. So I say for me, um, 
come in, get going right away. Be honest with yourself in terms of your ability and also be aware of, okay, is it a t should I give up? Should I keep going? Or if I keep going, what is my goal this year? How am I going to try to do things differently? So courage, honesty, and awareness. I've been married for about 14 years now, and I have two crazy but wonderful daughters who uh, keep me on my toes all the time, and they keep me grounded. Um, they're nine and seven right now, so it's, 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 it's a lot of work, um, but with my wife, teamwork um, is the dream work. That's what, is that the saying? I don't know what the saying is. Teamwork, dream work, something. Um, but yeah, we're able to get it done. We're able to get it done. It keeps you busy. But I love it because it keeps me grounded. You know, you can't keep your head in like, I'm trying to book this role, I'm trying to write this script. No, you have to come back to earth and deal with your kids and take care of your kids, ask them how school was, take care of homework, feed them, clothe them, play with them, talk with them. So yeah, it's a, for me, I love it. It gives me the right balance that I need, having a family, um, having a supportive wife, having a supportive, um, supportive family pretty much really helps you when you're here. So well, there's a couple of things. I uh, I can't mention any names or places or people or things like that, but I okay. I auditioned for a really cool role, which I think if I get would be what I call a life-changing event. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And then also, um, the goal with creating consequences was for it to, again, get an audience online, but ideally um, transition to a TV network or some type of, some type of streaming service. And right now, a TV network or streaming service is looking at the possibility of taking consequences to the next level. So again, can't mention names, don't know if it's going to happen, but it's just one of those things where we got to keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. So no names. No names. I can't give any <laughs> names, but yes, there's a possibility of things happening. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. There's definitely more to come. Thank you, Fatal Cut Entertainment, for uh, always uh, supporting me and helping us get the word out there about people like us. It's, a, it's something we really appreciate you guys doing.